Hey guys, what's going on? Bojo here, and we are back to do the trade results video for our second Superstar Trade Day in NHL 13. So I'm going to have a little bit of a help here in deciding uh, which of these trades should be good, uh, if I should accept or not accept these things. I have my certified financial advisor and certified badass, Anthony, is joining me today. Thank you for uh, joining me here. Uh, thank you for having me. I appreciate the intro there. Yep, no problem. All right, so we do have a good bit of trades here. It's a much better turnout than the uh, last video I did. There should, there's at least, well, there's not at least one trade on every single person. The only people who did not get trades were the Team of the Week, Chris Kunitz, and Ryan Kessler. But everybody else has at least one trade offer on them. So uh, disregard that Daniel Sedin. I j I'm just trying to sell that on the market. So, I guess we should just get this thing started. So, the first guy we got on our list is Zdeno Chara. So, if I can remember correctly, Chara goes for about 55 grand, I think. That'd be accurate. What do you think, Ant? Sorry? Chara. He goes Chara. Chara. Yeah. About I'd 55, say, 60. A, I'd say a, you're a good chance with a 55 to 60. Uh, sometimes he sells a little higher, but a 55, 60 grand, I'd say, is a very consistent price for Chara that you can get day in and day out, no matter what kind of market the game's in. All right, so let's check out this uh, one trade that we got for Zidane Chara. So we got Ryan Klo, Brendan Morrow, the new Pittsburgh Penguin, uh, Mark Andre Bergeron, Kevin Bieksa, and 10 grand. So Klo, uh, about three, Brendan Morrow, maybe. About maybe one or three as well. Bergeron. Yeah, one, one, one and a half at the highest, my friend. Bergeron, one. BXA, one and ten grand. That's not even breaking 20 grand, so that's not a good trade offer at all for that. So I'm going to have to they'll reject that offer for Chara. So it looks like Chara is going to be staying on my team. Not a problem with that. You can hope in the next game Morrow is worth more, my friend, playing alongside Malkin and Crosby. But right now, his market is not good in this game, so that trade is not going to be a go. Yep. All right. So, no luck there on Chara. He was the only defenseman, so I will just have to keep him on my team. And like I said, guys, stay tuned after this video for the uh, special contest thing uh, that I'm going to be starting. So, next up, we got Claude Giroux. All right. So... Giroux, he's got a 34 contract in them, so I'm going to take that into consideration. Uh, usually 75, upper 70s, around 80 for Claude Giroux. So let's take a look at the first trade offer. So we got uh, Jarventinen, Jarventian, he's 74 overall defenseman. It's not looking good at all. Zivnik McCulloch, Ryan O'Reilly, Jose Theodore, and a grand. That is obviously a troll trade. I'm not even going to bother with that. Reject. And the other one we got Jason Spezza, Jamie Benn, and Martin Havlat, no pucks. Uh, Spezza, about, he, his price actually jumped up a 25. good bit. Yeah, 25, 25 to 30. 30. Benn, yeah. 10. Havlat, about 9 or 10 the same, so that's only about 50. You're looking at about 45 grand, 50 yeah. on the high side. Yep. Um, it's, not a, it's, it's definitely a way better offer than your first offer, but unfortunately you wouldn't even be near a 10 grand threshold of being in the negative, you'd be looking at 25 grand loss. And especially with a 34 contract, I think you said, mm -hmm. that's another five grand or so, you know, you're making, you're losing there because of the caliber player that Drew is and his, his, you know, worth in this game. So yep. um, good players in the trade offer, but just not for this, not for Drew. Yep. So I'm going to have to reject that as well. I do want whoever sent this uh, trade offer in, if you guys are, uh, whoever, if uh, you sent this in, you're watching this. Um, I do want Spezza on my team. I sold him uh, for a profit a little bit ago, but I do want to get try to get Jason Spezza back. So if you uh, want to resend me Spezza again, and uh, maybe I can send you back another couple players for Spezza, I'd definitely do that because I want to get Spezza back on my team. So but other than that, I'm going to reject that. So... Skip over Kunitz and Kessler, and now we got Marion Hosa. So Hosa is about 45, I would think. Yeah, on the high side, of, I'd say at a high side you might get 50, but 45 is a consistent bid. Yep. All right, so we got two trade offers for him. Let's check this out. Uh, Corey Perry straight up. Um, now Corey, Corey Perry. Perry's only worth 25 on a good day. Yep. No Maybe. pucks. 
no and like, pucks like for we're that. saying, viewers, when we say when we say high side, we're saying what we've seen. It's not a consistent basis. So a thirty grand is possible for Corey Perry, it's just not something that is likely. Twenty five. The number we say first is their more likely number. Yeah, we're taking market drops and rises into consideration when we do this as well. Yep, so he didn't even have a contract on him, so I'm going to reject that offer. And this one we got Joe Pavelski, Mike Camilleri, Martin Hablat, and David Krejci, and two grand. Uh, Camilleri, three. Hablat, nine. Pavelski, three. Krejci, two. Uh, it's and, and, and two and, yeah. and two grand. It's three, three. It's about seventeen grand for the players. And another two grand would be nineteen. So twenty. Unfortunately, on, it's not going to be twenty on the high side. That's only about half the worth of Hosa. So I'm going to say no to that as well. All right, we're not looking good here so far. All right. Now we move on to Rick, the freaking flyer killer Nash. All right, so Rick Nash, um, he fluctuates like a mother in this game. I see him go for 20, I see him go for 30, I see him go for high-end 30 sometimes too. More, not high-end 30, more like mid-range 30. Uh, so I guess we'll just base this off of a 30 grand bid for Rick Nash. So we got three for him, I think this is the most anybody uh, has. So let's check out what we got for Rick Nash. Okay, so, Patrick Marlowe, Derek Roy, and 1500 That's not a terrible offer off, off of face value just from hearing it. Uh, Patty Marlowe, you're looking at it's it, it's a, he's another person that fluctuates. I'd say 23 is a, is a consistent number I've seen for him, but you got a chance of about 25. Mm -hmm. Would you agree? I would say so. Derek Roy, he has taken a little bit of a price hit as of late. Yeah, he was worth 50. If you access a couple of weeks ago, 5,500 to 6,000 was possible for Derek Roy. I think now you're looking at maybe four grand. And then he gave 1,500 pucks on top of that. So if we take this, Patrick Marlowe, maybe tw like 23, if 4. You're at the low end, 23 and 4, you're at 27 plus the 1,500. You're looking at about 28,500. Mm -hmm. It's not that's not bad offer, so I'm going to delay that. Not a terrible that. idea. I'm going to delay that for now. Uh, we got John Tavares and 16 grand. Um, Johnny Tavares is worth about... Uh, I think I think he leveled back off again. I think he's around ten again. I know he was going for the mid range. Or, uh, so ten grand plus the sixteen thousand would put you at twenty six thousand. The other um, offer was better on than the low this. end. I do like the pucks. Um, not but, a terrible offer. Yeah. yeah, good with the pucks. But Johnny, the one player in return for Rick Nash, it's not going to really steady out yeah. the difference in what you'd be losing. So that would be a good, good offer, but just not going to work in this trade. Yeah, so the other offer was still much better. And, okay, this one you may have to uh, do some research on me on this one. And we got an EA Pucks offer of 500 pucks, but we have a Team of the Week Teddy Purcell. Team of the Week Teddy Purcell. Indeed. If you would bear with me here, this is not a card that I've seen too much, nor I don't think Joe has either. If he doesn't mind me saying. Mm -hmm. Yep. 87 say, overall. Right winger, Tampa Bay. I uh, want to say, Joe, at the most, and this is probably high end, uh, I see him buying out prices for him for 20 grand, and they're starting at about 18. Um, I'd say he's worth 20 grand at the high side. At the high side. So in this deal, it, it's not, not worth it. Your best offer was definitely. This is probably, although it's not a bad offer for the player, for him being worth probably, I'd say, about anywhere in the high teens to 20 at the most, if that, because I'm not really too sure on his on his market in this game. That's probably the the least, the, not the, I don't want to say the worst, make it, it's not a terrible offer, but that is, out of the three I've heard so far, that's probably the worst offer, followed by the 16 grand plus Johnny T., and your best offer was definitely the first offer you received for Rick Nash. I would agree, so I'm going to reject this offer as well. Now, the, now here's the decision that I that I have to make here. Do I want to take this offer? Um, now, like I said, there is. I have to I have to think about this. I bought this Rick Nash, if I can remember, for about 28. Now, Patrick Marlowe, this technically would get my money back, but the thing is, uh, ooh, and that Patrick Marlowe has a 26 contract on it, which is good. But the thing is, I do already have a Patrick Marlowe on my team. And I would real I like I said the offer is good. I will say this the offer is good. It's it's the best offer that we had. 
The price is very accurate to what Rick Nash is worth, but just because I think just only because I have a Patrick Marlowe on my team right now, and I think I would just rather keep Rick Nash and use him on my team because I like I I really just like his stats overall as a power forward. He's got the really good shot, he's got good hands, and he's got the good checking ability. So, like I said, that's that's a really good offer whoever whoever sent this in, but. It's. I'm just not gonna accept that just because I already have a Patrick Marlowe on my team. Like I said, the price offer is good, but I'm just not gonna accept that. I would rather just keep Rick Nash over uh, overtaking this offer. So, hope that person understands. Good offer, very good offer, but I'm just gonna say no to that. All three offers, yeah, were pretty good. All, all three were decent, especially that last one. Definitely for the future. Continue to send offers in. Like similar to that fashion of how you set that those offers up that you just sent for his Rick Nash because those were pretty yeah. reasonable. Yep, they were reasonable. All right, so we're gonna move on to Henrik Zetterberg. So we got uh, him. He goes for about 40 to 45, I believe. So he's got a nice little contract on him as well. So let's check out him. We got two for Zetterberg. All right, we got David Booth, uh, Milan Mikalik, and Eric Cole. Um, no pucks. That's just not even worth it. David Booth, I mean, like three or four. Michaelic, like yeah. three, same thing. Cole, same thing. It's about ten. Not worth that. If you're lucky. You gotta reject that. And, okay, this one seems interesting. You got Martin St. Louis, Drew Dowdy, Ante Kopitar, and Seven Grand. Okay, this one's gonna take a little bit of time to think about. Yep. St. Louis, Louis, 16. You figure. 16, I was going to say, okay, so you got 16 grand for St. Louis. Uh, then if you go to Kopitar, you got about 10 or 11, right? Mm -hmm. That'll bring it up to 26. Right. Plus the 7 grand, yeah. that'll bring it to about 33 ish. That'll be a 33. Now, here's and the thing. Dowdy, Is Dowdy worth 12? Just sold. Dowdy right now, I just saw him sell just this second for 13,500. Okay. Now, I'm going to look again to make sure to see if anyone else, if there's any more coming up to know how much exactly his market is right now. But I saw him sell just this second for 13.5. Mm -hmm. So let's see if we take this into again. So 16 plus 7 will give us the 20. You'd be looking at, if you did it just on their face value, you're looking at about, if you go with the 13.5 plus the 16. For Martin, right? And you said nine for Kopitar. About about nine, ten, or eleven for Kopitar, yeah. Plus seven. Yeah. So if you go if you go nine plus the seven, you're at forty five thousand five hundred. If you go nine for Kopitar. Yeah, and that's that's is what Zetterberg is worth. Right. And the Dowdy, I've only seen one in recent, and it was thirteen five. So I'm not positive. I know for sure he sells over ten. I'm just not sure where he sells over that afterwards. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I have seen Zetterberg sell for high 50s as well, on a good day as well. So, I just don't, like, I would take this offer, but it's just that I don't really, the only reason I would take this offer would probably just to make a profit. I would, I would maybe make a profit if I'm lucky. If I can sell those guys for what we were establishing, because I think Drew Dowdy's uh, market price is very fluctuates a good bit. Kopitar's does <laughs> fluctuate a good bit as well. And I really just don't see any use for any of the guys on my team other than maybe Martin St. Louis. So, and I'd rather keep Henrik Zetterberg over these guys too. So once again, yeah. another very good trade with four a very uh, equal value. But once again, I'm just going to have to say no to this trade just because I'd rather keep Henrik Zetterberg for my team over these guys. So once again, very good trade, but... I don't really see myself using any of these guys on my team, and the only reason I would just take this offer would just be to make a profit, and I don't really even know if I could um, take the time to sell all three of these guys for what they were actually worth, so I'm going to reject that. Once again, another good trade, so at least we're getting some better trades this weekend, so. Alright, so next up we got Taylor Hall. Taylor Hall, uh, about low-end 20s for him. Maybe about the mid-range 20 for Taylor Hall. We only got one for him. Uh, Derek Roy and TJ Oshie. No pucks. No thank you. That was quick. Quick and easy on that. 
Alright, so that was really quick for him. So now we'll move on to Matt Duchesne, who I just seen sell for about 30. I know he's high end 20s for Matt Duchesne, so let's check out what he has been offered. Uh, Chris Kunitz and Brian Campbell. Uh, you're barely, you're not even breaking five grand on this one, so that's going to be a no on that. Probably just a guy troll trading. All right, and that's pretty much just going to end it off right here with the last guy we got, and that's going to be Jeremy Roenick, the guy who I magically got for four grand, as you guys know, so I would be willing to trade him, trade him in this one. So let's see what kind of offer we got for Jeremy Roenick. Okay, so I already looked at this one prior, and I think this may be the only trade I accept. So we got Patrick Kane, Brian Gianta, Dan Hamus, and Victor Stahlberg. No pucks. Um, now, Jeremy Roenick, I know, sells for about 40 to 45. And Patrick Kane, if you can get him on a really good market, you can get about 50 grand for Patrick Kane. And I... In my personal opinion, I would rather have Patrick Kane on my team rather than Jeremy Roenick. Plus the fact that he's given me Brian Gianta, Ham Hughes, and Victor Stahlberg, which are all, they're actually not that de pretty decent players. Uh, they got some pretty good stats, stats for wise, 80, yeah. yeah, stats for 84 overalls, and uh, Ham Hughes has some pretty good stats for 85 defensemen. So you know what? Even though Jeremy Roenick, I know he's the legend, he's the, uh, he's the superstar, over here, he's got the really good offensive stats as well as some good defensive stats as a two-way forward. But I think I am actually going to accept this trade just because Patrick Kane is really just the dominating factor in this trade. So I think this is the only offer I'm going to accept. And uh, yeah, I love that 92 skating and 92 hands on Patrick Kane. Can't play defense, but that's fine. I'd rather take a pure offensive guy over a, a two-way forward. So I am going to accept this offer. So thank you very much. Enjoy Jeremy Roenick, whoever sent that offer in. So that is a very good trade. And Patrick Kane actually has his original Blackhawks uh, emblem on there. So I'm actually just going to uh, send all these guys to my collection. Okay, so that and that'll pretty much wrap it up. We still got some time left, so I will go back and. Uh, check out if any of you guys send in some other trades and whatnot so i thank anthony once again for joining me on this trade day video hopefully you'll be joining me for future ones thank you for having me it's been a pleasure and like i said guys uh as i mentioned earlier when we when i originally came out with the uh the uh super the the trade the trade video of you of me showing you guys the players like i said so we really only sold Jeremy Roenick. So the next video that comes out for Hut is basically going to be a contest slash giveaway. I might as well tell you guys what what it's going to consist of right now, and then I'll release the video uh, later, sh showing you guys exactly what you need to do. Basically, so bearing the results of this trade video, we have tons of these superstar players now on my team. So what you guys are going to be doing is. I'm going to, once the uh, trade results uh, finalize for all those guys, I'm going to send them all to my uh, team right now. I'm going to put them all in my scratched roster. So what you guys are basically going to be doing is, you're going to be taking the players currently that I have on my team, as well as the guys in the scratched roster from that are in my trade pile right now, and what you guys are going to do is, you're going to organize the top four lines in my for my hut team um, don't worry about position what uh, position cards that they may have on them don't worry about what a uh, change team card they have behind them that doesn't matter right now I can go, always go back buy those cards and change them later so what you guys are basically just going to be doing is editing out my four lines the best possible and the guys who that you and make sure uh, well I, well that'll be explained in the video uh, to come so basically like I said all you guys are going to be doing is putting together four lines for my hut team and basically the reject guys that are not used are either going to be giving away given away for you guys or I'm either going to like trade them away or just probably get pucks but I'd prob probably rather just uh, give them away to you guys since they're they really won't all be worth that much money so that'll be coming out 
uh, for the next hut video, but once again, thanks for sending in your trades for this trade video. I mean, though this video is going on rather long right now. We're already at about 20 minutes, so I think I'm going to end it right here. So thanks, guys, for watching. Thanks again for sending in those trades, and I will see you guys for the next hut video. And, uh, yeah, take it easy. I'll see you next time. Take care.